Today on the channel for the G.I. Joe Classified series, we head to the sea with Torpedo. In the spirit of Ultimate Warrior, will run forever! to the channel for another G.I. Joe Classified Series unboxing and review. And today, we're heading to the ocean. We're headed to the sea. We're headed to the lake. We're headed to the stream. We're headed to Torpedo. But for all your Torpedo needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up DJC Collectibles. Use discount code 8 off DJC to save 8% off your entire order. And that's exactly what I did as I headed up to the Great White North and I picked these bad boys up. Gotta get in on the Joes. You know me. I love me some G.I. Joes. And I love me some Torpedo. However, I never had Torpedo as a kid. To me, my G.I. Joe uh, C characters, I guess, was always Deep Six and Wetsuit. Those are my two guys. I never did own Torpedo for whatever reason. I don't know. I must have passed him up for something else I wanted more at the time. Who knows? But one thing we do know is we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So there it is. Old Torpedo on the front there. Cool Easter egg in the back from that scene from G.I. Joe where they had those snake things Cobra was working on. And, man, those were creepy. I can still hear, like, the screams of those things from that episode, if you remember that episode at all. Very, very creepy. Some of those supernatural elements in the old Joe universe, of course. But very, very creepy. One of the creepier episodes, if you ask me. Got Torpedo all decked out on the front. G.I. Joe, of course. All the accessories up top. A little artwork over to the side. Number 73 in the line for those keeping track at home. Get your phone out. Get the old QR code right there for old Torpedo. Find out more online, as they say. Jibber jabber at the bottom. And then you got some glamour shots on the side. What's going on back here? It says Edward Torpedo Leiloa. Is that how you say his last name? Do not remember that name at all there. Uh, but definitely looking cool here. He's got a spear gun, a knife. He's got his uh, weapon there. He's got his flip-flops. All his flip-flops. He's got those as flippers ready to go. But definitely a good-looking figure here. And we're building out all of our eras of the Joes. we got the land fighters. we got the uh, airplane guys. we got the wild bills coming at the dragonfly. we got snow job coming in the, in the uh, snow. And then you got the torpedoes of the world here for, of course, uh, underwater. So there you go, old torpedo. See you later. Goodbye. We've got Torpedo's little doohickey, his little uh, classified locker, I guess we'll call it. He's going on right here. Gonna pull that out. Oh, little Spider Man style. Bam. See you later. See you later. Oh, off the top, knocking things over. Almost knocked the camera over. Just just missed it. Just missed it. But we got the old parchment paper. Gonna dive in there. Oh my gosh, a lot of stuff going on in here with old Torpedo. He's not messing around. Bam, see you later. Goodbye. A little cardboard prison for Torpedo. Looking good right there. Let's free him out with the old scissors. Get him out. Let's get him in the water. Get him in the water stat. Maybe. Maybe we'll get him in the water. We'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. We've got him. Oh, we got one locked in on the leg. Got one locked in still. And there it is. There it is. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. All right. We got Torpedo out of the pack. Definitely feels different than some of the other Joes we received. That's for sure. But let's dive into his accessories first. Of course, no hands going on. Uh, we do got all kinds of stuff, though. We got a nice knife with him here. Nice little black handle on the knife, or I guess it would be a maroon handle with a black blade on this knife. Definitely looking cool. Nice details on this one. Of course, you're underwater. You got to pull something like that out. Cut some rope. Cut a fish. Cut somebody. You never know what you might need to do out there. Big old harpoon gun. A little bit gummy here. Uh, not a very rigid plastic, a very soft plastic on this one, but you do got the harpoon on the end. You got some sculpted in rope going on, some sculpted in down there. Uh, the handle, of course, all in black but you get yellow here you get some silver up there looking good for what it is a little spear gun action we do get a backpack for him and it looks like it does have his kind of breathing apparatus all that stuff going on uh back here onto his backpack makes sense you got to have a tank if you're gonna be underwater to be able to breathe fits in it's got a nice curvature to follow the lines of the body as well so a good pack pack here for him you got his flippers down here of course he's got to have these if he's swimming under sea we got a left and a right one of course in black nice little red coloring on the top all black on the bottom Got to have some flippers if you're going to be an underwater guy, that is for sure. 
But look at this mask with the head, and then you do get this big old rifle here. And you got a little magazine action to put on in there. I think it's Better Homes and Gardens, I think is what this is. Or is it uh, Country Stream, maybe a fisherman thing there, but a nice little machine gun action. Looking good here, looking nice. I don't believe we've seen this before as well, but looking here, I'm here for that. So that is his accessories. Now we're going to dive into old Torpedo here. Very interesting. It's going to be interesting how I display Torpedo too. Now you do got a little bit of his face poking out through here. Got a little bit of face, and of course you got the big uh, underwater mask, whatever you want to call that thing going on. Wetsuit kind of mask going on. But then you do got his uh, mask that goes over the top. And definitely that feels like Torpedo to me. Uh, choose your own head adventure on this one. This is one of those ones... Could be a two-in-one figure. You could have a couple of these guys as like a, a group of these guys, you know. You could have just a whole team, and then you could have him with the mask off kind of in the front leading the team. So if these go to deep clearance, could be an army builder if you really wanted to. And if you're really creative out there, you could customize them, maybe paint this a different color or something like that to make them feel a little bit more different if you wanted to. You definitely could do that. But definitely a good head sculpt on him. Very slim. This is a very slim and sleek figure. Of course, swimmers usually that way. You get the bazookas out there on land carrying those big, big heavy artillery. You got the big jacked up dudes. Dudes, you got the skinnier guys underneath uh, the water swimming around, things like that. So definitely looking cool. He's got his wetsuit throughout, all in black. Got the silverish, grayish color down through the middle, looking good. A little bit of red on the sculpted in pockets here to kind of break up the color scheme throughout. He does got a spot to hold his knife on the side. And then you got a pocket uh, sculpted in on this side here. It doesn't hold anything or that, but you can store the knife on the side there. Got the spot in the back for his backpack. And I should mention, his backpack, you plug these into, of course, so he can breathe. You plug that all together. All does be removable if you need it to. I uh, got a little bit of red in there on the belt as well. But besides that, a very sleek figure. A very uh, kind of looks really does and looks and feels like an army builder type figure really at the end of the day like I was talking about. But very cool. But articulation wise, got the head, back, forth, side, side, all kinds of movement there. He does got a little bit of a giraffe neck. I will say he's got a very long neck on him. Part of that is probably because of that mask coming down and uh, the hoses and all that kind of stuff. But he has got a little bit of a giraffe neck if you ask me. Just got a little butterfly shoulder action. Arms do go all the way around. Bicep cut, of course. Double jointed, pinless elbows, playing all the hits. Got a little strap on the side there on the wrist. A little Joe communicator, a little underwater communicator. If he needs to get down to business, he can do that. Got the trigger hand there, back and forth, side to side. Eh, not really, just kind of... Uh, side to side, you get a little up and down on this one, a little trigger hand there, but very tight on mine on his hand. Uh, you do get an ab crunch, of course, and you get waist articulation up and down, so plenty of articulation out of there. Big old splits for the underwater man, and then, of course, you do get the drop-down hips like we're used to with the G.I. Joe Classified Series. Thigh cut, double-jointed, pinless knees, playing the hits once again. You do get a boot cut, and then ankles back forth, side to side, so plenty of articulation for old Torpedo there. He's ready to go underwater. He's ready to take it take it to the sea if he needs to. And then, of course, does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. What do you know? He fits like a glove right there on the old stand. Not too shabby as far as Torpedo goes. And they're really building out the land, sea, and air of G.I. Joe. That was so important. When are we going to get to space? Of course, we know at the end of the G.I. Joe, a real American hero, into the 90s, things got very neon colored, and they also went to space. So I got to think we'll have a space brigade one of these days here. Maybe we'll see what happens there. But really building out the G.I. Joe universe for villains and good guys. Uh, very, very cool idea here. And I'm here for Wetsuit. I'm sure I wouldn't be shocked to see some reuse in the future for Wetsuit. Deep Six would have to be a little bit different, but I'm here for that as well. But definitely a cool one here. Not the most iconic, and I would say for me, probably my least favorite of all this current crop of Joe Classifieds we've unboxed here on the channel, just because I just don't have a lot of love for Torpedo like I did Wetsuit and Deep Six like I talked about earlier there. Let me try to find Flint. There he is, always hiding on me, old Flint. Put him next to old Flint, looking good right here. What a team right there. The dream team, some may say. Who knows? Anytime you put Flint with a member, it's a dream team at, at the end of the day. But definitely cool torpedo. A lot of accessories, a lot of fun for underwater. Just imagine kid taking this in uh, the pool or in the bathtub or something like that. That's what happened back in the old days uh, with a torpedo, I'm sure. If you owned a torpedo in the 80s and you were a kid, he was probably going along on a lot of bathtub adventures, I'd have to imagine. But definitely a cool figure. Definitely feels like something different. Definitely looks like something different. So at the end of the day, I'm still here for this one. Even though it's not my favorite of the current crop. But what say you guys and gals out there in YouTube land? You picking up old Torpedo? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. 
and then some. Yes, and then some. And we got even more content for you over on the old Patreon channel. Your best way to support this fair YouTube channel. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Torpedo, I am Kyle. And I'll see you guys all real soon.